Hello there everyone, um, I am El Magnifico and as you've seen by the quick brief intro that I've done, this is a special edition of El Magnifico at the movies uh, and it's an in memoriam to Robin Williams. Um, you know, I wasn't going to do anything, I know I have movie reviews and things like that, but I, I've never done a something like this where I talk about a uh, particular um, actor that's past um, but I was thinking um, ever since this morning my mom called me this morning my mom called me this morning just to say that she was lamenting uh, the passing um, of Robin Williams and um, that's what got me thinking um, and all day today I posted on uh, or retweeted things and share things on Facebook. Um, so, <clears throat> um, his passing was, of course, yesterday, um, and, and uh, it was uh, tragic. It was very surprising. I didn't find out yesterday until late evening, and not even in the news. Uh, somebody just sent me, texted me saying, uh, my girl actually texted saying, um, so sad about Robin Williams and I said why and I started going online and things of that nature and that's when I found out um, I was busy at work yesterday I didn't get the news I didn't see any tweets or anything uh, and then in the evening I didn't um, when I turned on the TV um, the news were just finishing the um, you know NBC news with Brian Williams were just over, so I didn't even get to see that, so I just switched to Seinfeld or something as I was eating dinner and stuff, so I didn't even find out, so when my mom called me this morning, um, she said, I'm lamenting the, the passing of the comedian, um, that's, that's what she said, I'm lamenting the passing of the comedian, and I said, oh yeah, Robin Williams, yeah, very sad, and, and then she said, you know, because I know that you used to watch his movies a lot, and that's that's when I started thinking this. And you know, after I hung up with her, and I said, "Yeah, it's so sad," and all that stuff, and I hung up with her, and I that's when I started thinking, "Yeah, but all the movies that I used to watch, I was watching with her, and some of the movies that she and I watched together were, of course, Mrs. Doubtfire, um, Hook." Um, I think we even sat through the Birdcage together, and with my brothers too. This is during the times of uh, VHS, and for you young kids, you know, we used to go to a, a video store, um, like a Blockbuster or the local neighborhood video store, and you can go and rent videotapes, put them in the VHS and things of that nature, and that's what we used to do a lot, and yeah, so... That's when I started thinking about how many people he's touched, and um, I've actually got notes here, so I know what I'm going to be talking about. <clears throat> so, yeah, so that, that that was the first thing, and like I said, I throughout the day, um, when I found time, I'll go to Twitter and Facebook and just retweet or share things on Facebook and Twitter, um, and one of them was. Um, a post that the Academy of um, Motion Pictures posted, or more commonly known as the Oscars, um, posted something. And, and what I said when I shared that, that was the first time I actually said something myself. Um, the, the thing the Academy posted was just images from some of Robin Williams' movies, of course, and that's when I just shared. Uh, and this is what I said. I, I wrote in my own words. I said, how many lives did he touch with his long career? Uh, the man was a genius who made you both cry and laugh <clears throat> with his uh, various roles um, in all the work that he did on TV, uh, movies, and on stage. <clears throat> um, because, like I said, you know, if my mom felt his passing, you know, how many movie actors and, and stars have passed throughout this year, and this is actually the first time that she called me to say something like that. It's because of his work, Robin Williams's work, 
has touched so many lives. So that's what started me thinking and all of that. Um, <clears throat> now, of course, when I say um, his work on stage, I, I of course mean his his comedy uh, shows, his comedy specials, and things of that nature. And um, you know, one of the first uh, ever, one of the first comedy specials I ever listened to. Because again, kids back in the day, we used to have something called a tape cassette play and and a tape player and we listen to them so one of the first comedy specials I ever listened to was was his was Robin Williams live at the Met um, and that was hilarious I need to see if I can download that from iTunes or something <clears throat> but anyways um, so of course like many people my age and remember I'm going to be 40 next year um, I got introduced to, to Robin Williams um, watching reruns of Mork and Mindy back in the um, 80s. I'm, I'm a child of the 80s. I was born in the 70s, but I was raised in the 80s. I'm a child of the 80s. So, of course, I remember watching Mork and Mindy and how crazy he was and who the hell, other than Robin Williams, could pull off wearing uh, rainbow suspenders like, like Mork did. Um, man, that was... Uh, brilliant and, and you know you could tell that he was something very special <clears throat> excuse me and of course all his movie roles like I said my mom and I used to watch Mrs. Downfire not just my mom and I but with my brothers too Mrs. Downfire we watch Hook a lot we we um, watch um, Aladdin he did the voice of the genie in Aladdin as many of your kids probably know uh, Robin Williams by doing the voice of Aladdin or Hook maybe or more recently in the uh, Night at the Museum movies um, so uh, he did a lot of family movies too uh, he did Flower um, he did the voice of a bat I believe in, in from, from Kelly for, uh, I don't remember and of course one of my most favorite roles of his is in the movie Happy Feet because he did the voice of a penguin named Ramon, and that's my real name, so I always felt an attachment to uh, Robin Williams doing that voice. He also did the voice of Lovelace, um, the penguin Lovelace, in, in those movies as well. Um, so he, his career was vast, his, his talent was immense, of course. Um, most of the movies that I watched with my mother were, were his um, comedies, but one of them, too, that I watched with her was... Uh, one of his dramas and one of my favorite movies of all time, which is Dead Poets Society. Um, oh, Captain, my Captain. I wish I could get up on the table. I'm probably going to break it. <laughs> um, and of course, he's, he's um, you know, uh, I, another one that I've seen of his. I actually saw this one in, in theaters. I don't think I saw this one with my mom. <laughs> um, and that was his Oscar winning role in uh, Good Will Hunting, which was written by. Ben Affleck and Matt Damon, my Damon stars, um, and Robin Williams won a supporting actor Oscar for his performance um, in that movie. Oh, and another one of my favorite movies of all time is, um, if you haven't seen it, um, it's called Insomniac, and it's um, one of the first movies directed by, um, oh my god, uh, why am I forgetting his name right now, Jesus. Oh, I need to turn my nerd car back. <laughs> um, directed The Dark Knight um, and um, Memento and... Shoot, what am I spacing on his his name? <sighs> ah, he'll come back to me. I know, he'll come back to me. But anyways, Insomniac. Um, that is a terrific movie where he's... You know, the, the movie takes place in, in Alaska and... Um, parts of Alaska half of the year is, is in daylight and half in, in the dark and oh it's crazy um, man I can't believe I'm forgetting his name why am I forgetting his name and of course I'm using my phone to make this so I can even look it up and I don't have my iPad because I'm not at home um, But anyway, so yeah, so Robin Williams, many roles uh, to, oh, another one of my favorite is, it's not a comedy also, but it's, uh, it's called One Hour Photo, in which he plays, <laughs> again, kids back in the days before we have iPhones and 
digital cameras, film or pictures used to be um, done in film and you used to take them to a place where they could get developed so that you can see the pictures that you took. And he played a, um, a one hour photo attendant and that's how he uh, picked victims and he used to stalk them and maybe kill them I think. I haven't seen that one in a while. <sighs> but yeah, so his talent was immense. He touched so many people's lives. Um, and it, it it's of course um, a great loss. Um, and fortunately, um, he had three new movies um, in post production. One of them is uh, um, um, uh, the third part to the Night at the Museum uh, movies. Uh, and I think he voiced um, a dog in a, another animated movie that's supposed to come out in. 2015, uh, so I'll be looking forward to those, and there's a couple more that he did, and, and I don't remember their name right now, <clears throat> but, uh, oh, here's a very cool thing, I, I actually met Robin Williams once, um, as you know, um, I love movies, hence my movie reviews and all of that stuff, I love, love movies, like I said, my mom and my brothers and I used to watch a lot of movies um, on tape, um, I have a large movie collection, um, but um, so my love of movies made me work at a movie theater. I used to work at an AMC theaters in San Francisco. Um, and he, Robin Williams, of course, lives, lived um, in San Francisco, um, the Bay Area now where he passed. But um, he came to watch a movie one time in um, one of my first years there at the theater. I wasn't a supervisor then. I was just, um, you know, taking tickets down at the, on a Wednesday night, I think it was. I, for the love of me, cannot remember what movie he and his family came to watch. Uh, but, uh, you know, he immediately recognized me, recognized them when he handed me his tickets. Uh, and I welcomed them and I said, enjoy the show and all of that great stuff. And when his movie was over, I was still there and I saw him coming down the escalator because the ticket taker booth was at the, the bottom of the stairs uh, or the of the escalators uh, and I saw him coming down with his family so I, I you know we're, we're not supposed to do this we weren't supposed to do this or you know gosh or celebrities and things like that because San Francisco will get a lot um, I, I met a few that way Nicholas Sketch being one of them but anyway so I see Roman Williams coming down after his movie so I uh, you said I hope you enjoyed the movie and I really love your work and I, when I said that, you know, he uh, turned around and he waved at me and nodded. Um, and that meant the world to me, you know, and then he did that. So and he was a great man. And you've seen it more than enough the last couple of days. Um, there, there have been um, reports and homages and, and special uh, events and things of that nature on, on TV. And the, the Today Show has been doing a lot. Um, I watched um, a video of how Conor O'Brien found out about his death while he was taping his show and he took time to say a few words with Andy and, and Willard and who was the guest. So he, he definitely touched a lot of people. Um, and the last thing I'm going to say, uh, and um, you know, and, and of course this, this was a very tragic death, this was a suicide um, and so his death has shed light into a, a, a larger issue, um, and that's of how many people have um, this, um, suffer from depression and things of that nature. So uh, I'm going to say what everybody's been saying. If you or someone you know suffers from uh, a depression um, and has had thoughts of suicide, of ending a life or your life, uh, please call for help. Um, you know, don't 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 let the sickness beat you. Um, call someone for help. There's there's numbers that you can reach for, uh, search for. There's the um, uh, national suicide hotline or whatever it's called, and you can find that on Google, I'm sure. Or um, go see a doctor. Get help. It, it's really important that that um, you know you get help. Um, so that, that's all I have to I have to say on this. And, and Robin Williams, um, his work um, in movies on, on stage uh, will be missed. Uh, he was a great 
humanitarian too. He did great causes for uh, the USO, for our troops in Afghanistan and Iraq. He did shows over there uh, for the troops. He, he, he was an extraordinary man that had many causes that he supported, like the Jude's Children's Hospital and, and others. Um, so he will be greatly missed. He was a great man, and, and he made my day that one time when I met him, when he waved at me and nodded. So that's it. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, Robin Williams, I, I hope you have found the peace that you were looking for, my friend. Um, thank you for watching. Selma Nifico saying, may God bless you all. Bye.